Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meezy69. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to have a look, a quick look at the Type 68. Now, unfortunately, uh, this footage was uh, recorded before the update. You know, it's a tank that I've never really played. I had the odd, uh, odd battle. Um, so I thought I'd take it out, you know, because a lot of people said how strong this tank was. So I took it out. And oh my god, like this is such an this was such a strong tank. Now I will do an updated review on this tank and that of the Type 71 because as we know that these tanks have since been nerfed. They're not the same. Uh, there's been a few changes. Uh, one of them being the uh, the equipment that makes it insane. Uh, so yeah, there's been a few changes uh, which we will look at in a future video, but. Uh, how it was how the tank was now i'm playing this tank be so before the update and i'm thinking do you know what this it's a quick tank it's a heavily armored tank obviously it has that uh, mobility um equipment that you can use or the gun depression equipment that you can use as well uh and it was insane like if you think the type 71 was insane which it was it was op and i've always said that uh this tank was equally as good now it's not as good as or it wasn't as good as the Type 71, uh, but equally, it almost just as good, because the difference is you see Tier 8 tanks, uh, whereas the Type 71, you, of course, you only see Tier 9 tanks, uh, where this you see Tier 10, and you uh, see Tier 8. Now, most of the Tier 8s are weaker than a lot of the Tier 9s. So, yeah, I mean, look at the mobility. The mobility of the tank was, was incredible. Um, so, yeah, it was just such a strong tank, and I really enjoyed playing this tank now i only had a couple of games in it and obviously i wanted to get the the mastery badge and it was just uh, an insane tank and looking at this tank pre-nerf it definitely like the type 71 it definitely definitely needed uh, a nerf and whether i would i mean they nerfed some things which i will go through in in the next video when i talk about how the tank it plays now uh, because i can't really talk about how the tank plays now when i haven't actually played the tank how it is now i can only talk how the tank has been or was played before the last update so i will make in the next maybe week or so maybe two weeks i don't know i will make an update a video on the this tank and the type 71 now i might do it in the same video because they're both equally as good as each other and some of the nerfs one of the nerfs was to that equipment slot so it's less maneuverable than it was now i don't know if that's a good thing it's a good thing for if you're coming up against it because that is what made the tank insane now when you have a look at the equipment um, you could either use that extra mobility or you can use the extra gun depression where you get uh, an extra three degrees, I think. Uh, so you can go up to sort of nine degrees of gun depression. So for a tank like these is absolutely incredible because they have insane turrets. And then to have nine degrees of gun depression on top of that. Um, so in the new video, I will talk about that because it might actually be worth using that uh, because it's got nerfed the mobility of the equipment's got nerfed it might actually be better off running it with the with the the, the gun depression instead of the uh, mobility but it's a tank like i said it's a tank that is super super strong um even against tier 10s like it, i mean we're against tier 10s now there's what two tier nines me and uh, another tank and we absolutely uh, dominate and we're against tier 10 so that is what makes this tank all so strong now there are a couple of tanks in tier 9 that can hold its own against tier 10s you've got other like e75 vk45 you know there are tanks out there that can really hold their own against tier 10s and this is definitely one of them i mean you could put this in tier 10 all day long and you will still get some bounces you will still get that damage uh, done as well so uh, it's definitely tanks that did need nerfs and I'll, I'll be the first person to say like so many people back in the day when I used to get quite a lot of views like people used to say if there was a, an OP tank say like the type 71 which we all know was OP <coughs> excuse me if I would say a video and Droodles will understand me because he would get it as well and maybe Pantooth <coughs> But we was used to make a video like, oh my god, this tank is OP. People used to have a go at us 
People used to have a go at us. I think, I can't remember what tank it was, maybe the T22 at the time when it was first released. And we'd make a video saying, guys, this tank is OP. And people used to say like, why are you making this video? Delete this video before Wargaming see this video and nerf it. Wargaming don't nerf a tank because we say uh, it's OP. Wargaming are not gonna look at mine or Droodles's or any other person's uh, video and say, right, Droodles thinks it's OP, we need to nerf it. Because at the end of the day, it's our own opinion. And just because we think it's OP, uh, doesn't mean it is OP. Most of the time, like things like the Te Type 71, if myself, Droodles, and Pantooth, and other YouTubers all say that the video, uh, that the tank is OP, then most likely it is OP. Um, but Wargaming don't go by that. They don't care if anyone thinks the tank is OP. Uh, what they go by is stats. They go by stats and data. They look at the data. I mean, I might say that, that this tank is OP, but Wargaming look and think, actually, the average win rate is only 50% uh, or whatever it is. Uh, so they won't nerf it. They'll only nerf it if the data tells them to nerf a tank. And clearly, that is what they've took. Uh, that's what they've done this time with this tank and that of the uh, the Type 71. So, uh so I'd be the first person to say, right, this I think is OP. And I'll also be the first person to say, right, this, this isn't strong enough. It needs to be buffed. Uh, I don't care if Wargaming listen or not. Um, and that is what that has happened this time around with this, uh, this new Japanese line. Like the heavies, especially the tier eight, tier nine, uh, and tier 10, they are all uh, super, super strong. And the type 68 and the type 71, was super super strong so let me know your thoughts on the type 68 like did is it a tank that you feel needed that nerf or did you feel that uh, it was fine how it is and what do you think of the tank now now in the next couple of days i will go and play the tank as i've said and make an updated review uh, but i just wanted to give my view because i haven't really gave my view on this tank so I wanted to have a play and see what it feels like before it got nerfed. And as you can see, I've only had seven games. And in that seven games, I could already feel that it is very, very strong. Uh, so yeah, it is a tank that definitely needed the nerf. Uh, but it's going to be interesting. Like I know a lot of you would have already played this and the Type 71 now. Uh, but yet yeah, I haven't. So I don't know how this improved suspension is going to be now after it has been nerfed. So I look forward to playing it. Um, I, I'm afraid that it is going to have been a massive nerf on these tanks, uh, but it's, it is what it needed. So let me know your thoughts on this tank and how it was. For now, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'm Meezy, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>